From one crusty old man to another, thank you, Steve, for that introduction. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to talk a little bit more about, the, I guess, my history and connection to the area. So, like uh, some of you here, I guess, uh, I was fortunate enough to spend most of my school holidays uh, in the summer holidays coming down here to Mandra, uh, going scoop netting, you know, with my parents and my grandparents for crabs, catching fish off the old traffic bridge, uh, and looking around at the, uh, the reef there at Blue Bay, and I guess it was one of the reasons that ignited my interest in the marine science world. And then as I got older, much like Sebastian was saying, I progressed to coming down here to go surfing um, and, and all the time operating, I guess, you know, enjoying the natural habitat here, but thinking that probably it was here forever with no consideration about it, um, maybe its fragility and certainly no understanding about perhaps the, um, you know, thousands of generations of people who would trod these areas and fish these waters before. And so uh, we go 20 to 30 years hence, and I'm now down here working with uh, the Nature Conservancy. We're doing a project on uh, shellfish reef restoration here. And I guess I'm interested in thinking about, um, well, first I should say, I guess, having spent that time and then coming back here, uh, it's given me a chance to reflect on my connection with space and, and, and people. And then it's also, I guess, dawn for me, a bit of a dawning of understanding about what connection with country can be for people who've been here for thousands of generations. And I guess I'm interested in trying to use that and inform that as a way that we work with all of the community here in how we go forth with doing our work for, for conservation and management and for leaving the place better than how we found it. Thank you.